or uh, take a picture. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that. Um, all right, so this is the story creations class. So I'm going to go ahead and open up iNews. Okay, uh, let me sign in. Okay, so um, I'm going to be using the BitCentral rundown, which is down here at the bottom. Um, I already have it up here, so let me um, let me see if I can. Um, let me change my view here. Let me change my layout actually. Um, yeah, let's do this. Okay. All right, so this will help us hopefully be able to view things a little bit easier. All right, so I do have the Bit Central rundown open, um, which you guys are more than welcome to use. Um, I also have the Bit Central plugin. Now, if you don't have it open, let, let's say you close out of it, okay? Um, what you can do is you can go up here um, where it says tools, and all the way at the bottom where it says plugins, you'll see bitcentral.inews, uh, okay? And that's how you'll be able to open up that plugin, okay? Now, it's, it may ask you to sign in. Um, just sign in with your Nexstar credentials and that should get you in, okay? Um, so what we're gonna cover in this class is how to create um, placeholders, the different columns associated with BitCentral, and then of course the plugin, okay? So first things first, uh, obviously when you come in and you start working on um, your show, make sure that your rundown is monitored on, okay? That way as you're creating placeholders, you can see it in the system with BitCentral. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and go, let me scroll down some here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a row here. So control N. Okay, and I'm going to call this story one, one test. Okay, so I've slugged my story. Now I want to create a placeholder, okay? All you have to do is you have to have this plugin open and then you're just gonna simply here where it says create placeholder, you're gonna, you're gonna click and drag down to that um, line, okay? You click and drag it, give it a second and you'll see that the status here is gonna change. Come on. Give it a second. Maybe we need to refresh it. Um, so refresh. Um, once you have your uh, placeholder created, the status should show offline. Um, they might, let's see, let me make sure. It's loaded. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to click off of it. Hopefully it'll show as, um, oh, there it goes. Okay. So now it's offline. So that's telling us that a placeholder was created and there's no video attached. Okay. So once something gets attached, you'll get that online status message. Okay. Um, so I'm going to scroll over here. Okay, now the moss next to status um, just indicates which channel video is getting played out of. Okay, um, we have the different options here. You have A, B, C, and D. You shouldn't really use V, um, but you will use A, B, C, or D. And it only matters if um, the show is being um, played out manually. Okay. Um, that's when you can alternate between A, B, C, or D. Uh, when you're on a, like on a normal day, when it Ignite is working, iNews is perfect. Um, 
you it it won't matter which channel you um, assigned the video to. So don't worry too too much about that. But if they ever say, hey, can you change from A to B to C? All you would have to do is um, select which channel, click and drag down to whatever story, and that'll change that MOS channel to B. Um, I think you can also um, manually change it. So if I do, um, let's say B here, um, B, enter. Okay, it should change that. Um, let's see. Moss channel here, shift D. That should change it. So you can also manually change it here, or you can pre-select the channel you want and then click and drag down to um, that row, okay? Um, so that, just like that, you create a placeholder. So it's super simple, you know, you just create your rear row, you slug it and then click and drag to that row, okay? Um, so now if I scroll over, Oops, not that one. Towards the end here, um, we have uh, this do not archive embargo restricted, restricted text um, columns that will um, be associated with BitCentral, okay? So let's say that we are working on our show and let's say it's a national package that you're like, okay, we can't archive that. Um, all you would have to do is go to that do not archive column and let's say the second line here, we're going to um, add a simple X and the system will look for that X and when it sees that X in that do not archive uh, column, then it's not going to archive that video. Okay, normally um, after the show is over between five to 15 minutes, um, the system goes in and grabs all that content and archives it. The only thing as a, produ a, as a producer that you would have to do is make sure that those rundowns are left monitored on in order for it to um, archive, okay? We recommend leaving your rundowns monitored on for at least 30 minutes after the show is over just to give it um, enough time for uh, the video to archive, okay? Now, uh, you know, like I said, it does look at that do not archive, it's looking for that X. Um, embargo, if you want your story to um, archive with um, em as embargoed, same thing, all you would have to do is add a simple X and it will archive as embargoed, okay? Um, if you want to add restriction, same thing, you add an X. And then next to that, you can write, type out whatever restrictions you're adding. So um, this is for, oops, this is for AM only. Okay. Um, that restricted text, when it gets archived, it will show that in Oasis, okay? So again, simple X on any of these columns, restricted text, you just type out uh, what restriction you're adding to that video, okay? Any questions? Okay, now with this um, plugin here, Obviously, we're using it to create those placeholders. Um, another thing that it's handy is that this plugin is pretty much a shortcut to that core application that we cover in the core user class. Okay. Now, um, so in here, you know, we're looking at the plugin. There are three um, different icons here at the top. Okay. Um, there's this one that is highlighted right now. And I always like to think of it as O for Oasis, okay? So when we're looking at this O, or 
yeah, this icon here that looks like an O, we're looking at Oasis, which is your permanent archive, okay? Um, next to that is Presys, okay? So if I click on that, we're looking at the content that's in Presys, which is your playout server. Anytime video gets attached to a rundown, it goes to the Presys server. Okay, it lives in Presys for seven days. So um, you can think of Presys, this um, shortcut here, as a temporary hold for um, content that's, you know, was added within the last seven days. Okay. Once it's out of Presys, the only place you'll be able to find it if it was archived would be in Oasis. Okay. Um, we have the download manager, okay, which will show you, um, you know, what story um, from the source, who is doing what, where it's going to, the status, if it was exported or downloaded, um, the request date, and then the at last updated. Okay. Um, so let me show you first Oasis. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Oasis. All right. Um, it gives you the story slug, the rundown, uh, the duration, the date, and then the source. Now, if you look at the source, WDTN, and then you also have WDTN dash core media, anything that has the dash core media is content that's in your core media shared drive. So this is your raw video. And when you look at the rundown folder, um, it's telling us that this video here is in the core media shared drive in the media encoder folder, and that's what it's called. Okay. Um, so you can click through and preview the content here on the left under, under preview. Okay. Uh, you can also uh, double click. It opens up a bigger window here and allows you to play it. Um, you'll see the data if there is a script or any notes with it. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to Oasis by simply clicking on that O. And what I always like to do, and again, it's totally up to you if you if you want to do this. Um, I always like to go in here and click on this drop down box here and select Oasis because I only want to look at the archive. I don't want to see the core media share drive unless, of course, I want to preview content that that has been ingested into the core media share drive. So I'm going to go ahead and select Oasis. This is your search button. So I'm going to go ahead and click search. All right. And now it's filtered out all of the core media shared con content. Okay, and I can see that here in the source, WDTN, um, that is all um, content in Oasis. Okay, so I can um, double click. Okay, I can play the video. You know, I can request it. So since it's in Oasis, I can click request. And I can either request it to download into the exported stories folder, or I can download. Come on. Don't freeze on me. Maybe. Oh, it, yep, it died. Okay. Let me relaunch that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see here. All right, so um, do, 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 do. let's go back to Oasis search. Okay. Um, let's pick this. All right, so again, um, let me go back here. All right, so let's say I'm going to request. I can either request it to go to exported stories, or I can also select download and pick where I want this video to download to. So if you've taken the core user class, you know that you can do the same thing here in um, the core application by simply going to assets 
and finding the video and doing an actions request. Okay. Um, if you are the kind of person that likes having everything in one location, um, I recommend using the plugin to request download content. Um, I'm going to go select uh, O again for Oasis to take me back. Um, you can also do searches. So if I do, um, let's say NP, um, hit search, I always hit enter, but you need to hit the search button here. Um, if I do a search and I do NP, it's going to show me all of this content that has NP in it. Okay, I can do an advanced search. Okay, um, you can do uh, all words, any words, rundowns, exactly without words. Um, you can search by fields. You can search by categories, but there's no, no category set up. Um, you can also do uh, date range and then past hours. So let's say I do a past hour, um, let's do 10. Hit search here. Okay. Now, if I uh, click on the advanced search here, now I can go back to uh, Oasis here. Search and P. Again, search advance. And I'm going to do a past hour search. Um, and then I can scroll through to see what content has been with the last uh, 10 hours, okay? Now, once you find video, let's say that there's video that you want to reuse or, uh, you know, use it for your show. Um, once you've found it, if I click on this preview here, which obviously, obviously you can play it, um, you can pause it, um, but it's, if it's the video that you want to use, you can click and drag to your show. So I'm going to add it to that MP Tuesday 3. Um, I think I should be able to control S to save it. Okay. And status is standby. So what it's doing, it's processing and it's going to attach it to the show. So you know, if there's stuff in Oasis that you can reuse from another show, you would only have to search for it um, and then um, click from the preview. Okay, so let's see. Let me find something else. Um, let's do this. Um, okay, um, let's see here, Tuesday remote example. Okay, so same thing here. You see how now it shows online for NP Tuesday 3? Same thing, I'm gonna click and just drag down to um, the story that I want. Oops, so I'm gonna use story one test. Okay, so it's it'll it's showing us the status here as offline. It should start processing here shortly. Okay, so again, just remember that um, if you want to um, add video from Oasis to your rundown, make sure you click the preview and drag it down to that line. Now, uh, when it comes to content from Preces, make sure that uh, you are only dragging content from Oasis and not from the core media drive because that is raw video. Um, so make sure you are aware of that to make to only grab um, drag stuff from Oasis. Okay. Um, let's see. So again, I'm going to select Oasis search. Um, you can also uh, send content to create. So if you want to edit something, you can send to create. 
um, and then you can access it in cre uh, create here uh, in the library. Okay, and since we are uh, sending it from the archive, you would go in here from archive to access the video. Okay. All right, any questions? Okay, so that Bit Central training rundown is available for you guys. Um, if you would like to practice creating um, rows and creating placeholders, feel free to use that Bit Central training rundown. Um, I highly recommend you try to kind of get familiar with it. Um, so, you know, we covered the O for Oasis Precis, which is the button right next to it. Um, it's just content that, that, you know, is more up to date within the last seven days. Um, you can also do a search here, you know, the last three hours, the last 24 hours. Um, search for content. This is all stuff that has already been added to a rundown. So you can go in here, same thing, click and drag down to your show if you want to uh, reuse video. Okay. Um, it will process and um, change the status should change to online. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, and then of course you do have that download manager that you can click on to view um, and see, you know, slugs and user and where stuff is getting downloaded and if it, what the status is. Um, let's see. So if creating placeholders for our show, it should be on Oasis or Precis. Yes, well, if, so if creating placeholders for a show, it should be on. Um, so yeah, so like in here, if you want to, if are you talking about that create placeholder here? Okay, yeah, so uh, that, that uh, the create placeholder, whether you're in Oasis or in Precis, um, you should have that create placeholder here. Now, if you do click on the download manager, obviously you're not gonna see it there, but um, you know, all you have to do is uh, click on Precis or in Oasis and you should see that here, okay? All right, any other questions? All right, well, that is pretty much it for this class. This is a pretty quick class. Um, like I said, if you have some downtime where you, you can play around with um, the plugin and stuff, feel free to do so using that BitCentral training rundown. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email and um, I will have a link for this session available for you guys, hopefully by um, this evening, if not, no later than tomorrow if you need to re 